Debate 08. Senators Barack Obama and John McCain are at it again for their second presidential debate and their first town hall forum. Here at Christopher Newport University, popcorn and sodas were provided by the student government for a nonpartisan debate watching party. The party gave the students an opportunity to watch the debate among their peers. After the debate, students were invited to stay and participate in a panel discussion with a few professors and Glenn Oder, a delegate from the Virginia State Legislature. Um, I was concerned tonight when I saw Barack Obama. He didn't seem to like some of the answers that Senator McCain gave, and he several times appeared flustered. I don't think that's very presidential. Um, I felt like uh, the debate went John McCain's way, and I clearly believe so because of all of the discussion about foreign policy. So which candidate did students think came out on top? I would say Obama, because I feel like he directed the questions more, or he answered the questions more directly. I, don't know, I thought McCain won the debate. I mean, to me, it seemed like he was he was much more able to speak to Obama. Like. Tonight, Obama won the debate just as he did last debate. Obama, like they said, did have the upper hand. Uh, he is the younger candidate, and McCain uh, is definitely saying some great things as well. John McCain won this debate tonight because the way he maneuvered throughout the debate to the crowd, connecting with the crowd, shaking hands, using direct contact. Well, there you have it. Opinions are split about who won the debate here at Christopher Newport University. For Fluster.net, I'm Victoria Shirley.